Hello! Today we're going to be going through how to fill out the different types of reports you may have to write in your role as an RA. To start things off, we're going to look at the general incident report form. So if you go to the Dean of Students page at MTU, over to the right you'll see a report of concern tab. As you scroll down, it's on the second row, it's the general student misconduct form. So what you can do with this um, it asks for some different background information from you, including your name, your position, your phone number, email address, physical address, um, nature of the support, which is uh, just uh, most likely going to be a general conduct report, urgency of report, you're usually going to leave that as normal, uh, date, time, and a location. Then you're going to include the information about anyone that you're documenting. So if you have three students you're documenting, you can fill in their information, click add another party, fill in the next student, add a party, add the third. Um, with this, as you'll see, there are eight different things to ask you for. Name an organization, gender, role, uh, M number, date of birth, phone number, email address, and hall um, address. Um, we understand that sometimes you may not have all of this information, um, but we ask that you put in as much as you can because um, it really helps us to make sure we know exactly who you're talking about and that no one gets pulled in accidentally. So within selected role, you'll see that there's alleged victim, witness, or student of concern. Um, with this, you're most likely gonna be clicking alleged um, if you are documenting students for a violation. Um, if you have witnesses, you know, say someone breaks something in one of the community spaces um, and you know, two students were walking by, had no part in it, then you can put them as witnesses just so that we have people to talk to um, to make sure that we have the, a full understanding of what happened in the situation. So then down here, you'll actually write in what happens. And we'll go through in a different video all the information to include in your incident report. Um, but this is the field that you would add that. If you have any photos, so maybe you document a bunch of alcohol and you want to give a scope of how much you documented. Um, if you have a photo, you can include this here. If you have uh, a vandalization, um, you can also include that here. And that is the report. So then moving on to our second report you have a room packed. Um, on room packed, you'll be getting the information about how to log into this later on um, as we set everyone up for the semester. Um, but this is after you've logged in, this is the first page you'll see is your hub. If you drop down to forms, go to file a form, your page may look a tiny bit different just because this is for the uh, on-campus RAs, um, but basically the concern report will likely look pretty much exactly the same. You have the date, you can then tag your resident. So if I'm writing a report about myself, for example, Sean Brown, it has all my information here. And then you can go in and write whatever information you need uh, following the same format um, that you would do for uh, the incident report. Um, so including titles, dates, times, locations, specifics of what happened, quotes if relevant. Um, and then if there's any of these different groups who are pulled in, you likely will um, probably have professional staff or counseling would be the main ones, um, or other you can include if you have um, some other different groups on campus you might need to pull out there. Um, but yeah, that's the concern report. And like I said, it's pretty much exactly the same as the incident report. Um, so if you need to do anything with that, you are more than welcome. Um, that wraps up this session for today. And if you have any questions, um, we will be happy to answer them separately.